People always ask me, are you driving the van? And I'm not driving the van. Del Mar's gonna have to take vacation, so at some point I gotta get trained on driving this van. Today we're at the, in San Jose at the Anderson Elementary School uh, doing COVID vaccinations for the community. So the teen van was originally started in 1996 with Dr. Seth Ammerman, who's a good friend and mentor of mine, to really serve the needs of adolescents who are either un uninsured, underinsured, or homeless uh, in the Bay Area, providing medical, mental health, and reproductive health care uh, for all youth who need it. We're basically a clinic on wheels. As you can see though, it's a 39-foot mobile home that has been retrofitted to have two full exam rooms. We have exam tables, we have all the equipment. Um, we also have an area for lab draws and vital signs. The best part about it is that we don't have to ask our patients to come to us. Uh, we go to them, uh, to their communities, to their schools, where our patients are, and take away that barrier. We have a whole team of people. Everybody here is committed to helping youth and their families. COVID provided a pretty significant challenge to us as our partner sites, the schools and the community centers that we normally go to shut down. Um, so we really had to think about how we were going to continue serving the community. And, and we made a key decision that it wasn't just going to be teens and young adults, that we were going to serve their entire families and their communities. Our relationship with the teen van stretches back 25 years. We've funded supplies, comfort items, food, logistics, but nothing prepared us for the stresses that COVID would put on the community. We're fully philanthropically funded. Without the donors that fund us, we wouldn't be out here. We wouldn't be able to do what we do. Ensure that as many youth and family as possible receive COVID testing and vaccinations as well as medical, emotional, and social needs. It's just been a, a blessing and a, an amazing opportunity to serve the communities that have uh, been un traditionally underserved. The whole team wants to uh, show appreciation to the auxiliaries for choosing us as their special project this year. We're so happy and so much appreciate everything that they've done. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts.